originally I'd wanted to be a marine biologist, which kind of strayed away from engineering, but this one guy I actually talked to, he's like, if you really want to help and improve like the ocean system or whatnot or the earth, and he's like, you should go into engineering. You just don't really hear about the engineers, like when you go to reality TV, you have like doctors and lawyers and all this other stuff, but you never like hear what engineers do, and so that's kind of cool. We're just kind of in the background, but we fix like everything, <laughs> so I really like that part about it. I started this last summer. My main project was to build this air core, which is stainless steel tubing, and it has this sulfur net coating around it, insulate it and help protect against other gases and whatnot. And what you do is you fly it on a balloon and it measures CO2 and methane in the atmosphere. And as it descends, it measures the gases. So we're at Fort Missoula today. We're gonna to fly my air core, which measures the methane and CO2 in the atmosphere. Right now, they're setting up the uh, control system and they're hooking that to the parachute and then they'll hook to the actual air core, which is in that purple box. It'll be about 40 minutes in the air or so of lift and then they're gonna have a dart system that will make the balloon burst and then it's gonna come down about um, near Brown Lake. And so we're gonna start actually going over that way and should retrieve it depending how hard that is. Hopefully, hopefully it's next to a road or something. I am the only female in mechanical engineering as far as my grade goes. I know two other mechanical engineers who are female, but they're either uh, the higher courses or lower courses, but as far as, as far as in my grade, I'm the only one. I'm very excited, a little nervous, very nervous, but excited for it. I mean, this is the heaviest payload we've ever done, so definitely some new challenges. Reflection, I never 